Ryan, a couple of days out here now. Training sessions seem to be going well. Hard work. Are you getting out of it what you wanted to? Yeah, it's, it's been difficult, but that's what pre-season is about. Building that uh, base fitness up to, to obviously going to a hard championship season. Uh, it's going to be a long, long season, so there's, there's not that much time for fitness work during the season. So it's important in these uh, early stages of pre-season, we, we do really hit hard the, the fitness work and we have been. You're doing the hard work, but you're doing it with a smile on your face. Is that important given the situation from last season? Yeah, we're in a new season now. Obviously, what's happened has happened. Um, a lot's been spoken about it, but now we need to move on and, and concentrate on, on what we can do. And that, that's getting back into the Premier League, and it's going to be difficult, and there's a lot of challenges ahead. But these trips can help, and these trips can give us that, that base fitness, like I said, that can uh, really help us go into the, the Championship season on a, on a high. And you know all about the Championship. You've had success at that level. One or two lads wouldn't have played there before. Will they call upon you for a little bit of advice, do you think? Or will you feel the need to, to speak to them about what's in store over the coming months? I'm sure that they'll know what's coming up. Obviously, the manager's managed at this level for a few years now, so obviously he's got the, the experience. Um, we're here all the time to help out, and if they need a conversation about how difficult it's going to be, because I think we all accept it's going to be very hard, but um, we're putting together a pretty good squad at the moment. We've made some really good... Uh, acquisition so far and hopefully you can add to what is already a good squad um, so yeah a lot of positivity going into the season. And the likes of Joe, Moritz, yourself, you all want to stay here, you're all going to be part of this project, that sends a good message out doesn't it? It does, um, I think the main thing is that uh, all the lads who are here under contract so there's no obligation from the club to sell them so um, we need to get our heads around that and, and make sure that going into the future that we're the first day of the championship season we've got a squad ready to go up from the, from the championship and, and that's our main aim it's going to be difficult uh, but we believe and, and, and the staff behind the scenes believe we've got a good enough squad with a, with a few additions to hopefully push on. What different challenges does the championship present to you? Uh, a lot of the teams uh, are of similar standard a lot of the teams uh, have a similar group of players that have, have come together and it's just difficult there's a toughness of uh, Playing the Tuesday, Saturdays uh, scenario, um, a lot of games are, are ground out, and be a lot of games where it'll be nil nil, one one going to the the 67 minutes. There's not many games in the championship where you find when there's a a big score. So throughout the season, it's going to be difficult, and every game we're going to we're going to look to win. But like I said, it, it's going to be very difficult. Is that where the mental side comes into? You've got to be mentally strong. Yeah, obviously when we got promoted last season, it was it was the mental toughness that got us in there. Obviously, if you've got a quality squad, which we have. Um, the only thing can help is, is the mental toughness and with the manager we've got now, um, I think we're going into the season with a, a real positive uh, outlook, hoping to, to have a good season. He's very positive, isn't he? He's vocal as well. You can hear him out on the training pitch. He's one of those that likes to get involved and, and put everything into practice. Yeah, he's been brilliant since coming. Uh, he's, he's, we always know the, the ways he wants us to play um, and the tactics he's going to use. So we started and obviously the groundwork of that and, and obviously his backroom staff have been brilliant as well with the... Uh, Obviously, they have sort of sections that they work with, so I've been working a lot with Callum in the defensive side of stuff, so yeah, it's been a really, really good productive pre-season so far. Is that something that you've not been used to before? It is. It's something that I've, it's the first time it's happened to me. I've always found it strange why, uh, if you look at other sports like rugby and NFL, it's, it's quite common, uh, but for football, you used to have a goalkeeper coach, an assistant and a manager. Uh, so it's something different, but it's something that I think we're all behind and I think we understand the, the values of it. You look at the experience amongst the staff, Rory, a good friend of yours, Kevin Phillips, Callum, they've all played a lot of games at Championship and Premier League level. Yeah, obviously that'll give us a, a massive advantage because we've got a lot of experience and, and knowledge to tap into. So hopefully in, in this season, which like I said, is going to be a very difficult one, we, we can use on their previous experiences to hopefully um, push up the table and hopefully stay as high as we can. You touched upon only the new signings, Benick, Etterby, you've had your first glimpse of. What have you made of those? They, they look two good acquisitions. Yeah, Benick, uh, quality striker, done at this level for, for many years, obviously stepped up to the Premier League with Bournemouth, done well there, so yeah, a great signing. Um, and then Pete, I've already seen him in the in the, uh, in the World Cup and he looked like a, a really good acquisition for the club and someone that hopefully along with John and the midfielders can uh, give us a real good base in there.